Hi folks, on this week's show, a budget priced Portuguese red plastered with um, the pictures of a Labrador dog. Hmm, could this be a case of thanks but no thanks or a big woof woof? Let's find out. Coming right up. Hi guys, welcome to yet another edition of Big On Wine, the show which, as you should know by now, brings you news, reviews and clues about, yes, everything in the world of wine. And my wine of the week for this week is indeed a budget-priced offering from Portugal, and it's this one here. It uh, goes by the name of Lab Reserva Turiga Nacional Cabernet Sauvignon Saira, and the vintage is 2016. Now this wine is interesting in a number of different ways. Let's put it safely down there. First of all, this wine, the little backstory of this wine, it comes from the Lisbon region of uh, Portugal, making it a Vinho Regional Lisboa. It's produced by Casa Santos Lima, and they're based, or their vineyard is based, about 50 kilometres north of Lisbon in the Alenquer uh, area. Now, of course, we're not far from the Atlantic Ocean here, so the best vineyards are the ones that enjoy a little bit of protection from the cold and the wind further inland off the coast there. This is interesting because it uh, contains um, three different varieties. It has the classic Portuguese grape, of course, the Turiga Nacional, but it's joined here uh, in a blend with the Cabernet Sauvignon and the Syrah, which are, of course are international big hitters. So a blend of three uh, very different uh, big hitting grape varieties here. And as I say, this wine comes in for a price of under 10 euro a bottle where I am. Now this wine packs a punch, it's 14% alcohol. Um, and if we take a look at it in the glass, we can see that it enjoys that same dense, uh, dark ruby red color, um, very, very uh, much associated with Portuguese wines with that slight touch of a purple um, breaking to purple around the edges of the wine. Looks very good in the glass, slightly opaque as many of these Portuguese varieties are, but let's give it a try in the nose and see what we can find. Now, in the nose, it has a very, a wonderful, open, abundant aroma. Um, how am I going to categorize that? I would say that that is um, dark, earthy, also just a little touch of sweetness there as well, which is a little, but maybe a little surprising. The uh, dominant aromas, I think, are the dark berries. Blackberry is predominant here. Maybe a touch of blackcurrant, but blackberry, I think, is the one that displays itself most clearly here. All right, let's give this a try in the mouth now and see whether those aromas play over into flavors. Yes, indeed. Now this wine does in fact contain seven grams per litre of residual sugar. So there is a little touch of sweetness in the wine here. The first impressions are of um, sweetness and spice, but then in come the tannins start to kick in. This is a medium to full bodied wine, soft and juicy and at the uh, a start of proceedings. But as we move down the line, we get the tannins kicking in and those dark berry aromas are joined by a kind of a sweet warmth in the back of the mouth and a very, very full flavored dark berries, blackberries are predominant here, and even, even a little bit of sour cherry in the mix there. Mm, now that's a very, very 
entertaining wine indeed, especially with that little touch of sweetness and spice in it. Now, what is a wine like this going to be good with? Well, you know, I think this is a wine that's going to be perfect with red meat. It has been oak, oak aged as well, this wine. Um, red meat, I think we're looking particularly at lamb and also at game dishes, so venison and moose, but I think this is indeed a great all-rounder for uh, red meat dishes. This would be perfect, you know, on your Easter table to accompany lamb dishes, for example. Serving temperature for this wine, I think, should be around the 17 or 18 degree mark. Let's bring you the heads up on this one. Never mind about the fact that it has a big picture of a Labrador on the label. This is Lab Reserva Turiga Nacional Cabernet Sauvignon Syrah. The vintage is 2016. It comes in for under 10 euro a bottle where I am. Imagine that. I'm going to give this wine four stars for the wine and a big plus for the price. Four stars plus out of five. Okay, wine lovers, many, many thanks for taking the time to check out this week's uh, video and the little introduction to a really good budget priced option from uh, Portugal, from the uh, Lisbon region there. Lab Reserva 2016, a blend of three different varieties. Nice stuff. Okay, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, then please do feel free to give us that big thumbs up, which we appreciate so much. Drop a comment down below. We're always very eager to receive those comments. Share the video around and of course, follow me on my other social media platforms. And hey, if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe by hitting that big red button somewhere up there behind me. And of course, I'll be back again next week with another great wine of the week for you. But until we meet again, this is Tony Melville signing off and saying, hey, take care out there. Be good to each other. Enjoy your wines and cheers.